Hi, and welcome to episode 9 of Losing is Fun with Empress Evil. I'm Icon, and we're getting siege today. So, let's, uh, let's answer correctly to the siege by just attacking back. So, I'm not exactly sure how things are going to be for us today, but... I do know one thing for sure, and that's I don't. And that is, I don't want to let these guys um, build themselves up just like they did the last time. I want to greet them with a, with a very uh, strong response here. Oh boy, I can't just uh, get over here. I don't want to. If I if I'm standing here, I'm giving them an easy fight. But uh, this way, well, Maria can stand here. All right. So Gaxo, good old Gaxo. Let's flip, tossing those grenades. Because this is going to be really nasty for them. Oh boy. They uh. They instantly got a grenade on their face, so, yeah. But so did Gaxo. Gaxo also got a uh, attack right away, so let's see. Let's uh, make something happen here. And uh, I'm going to let Gaxo attack this square. Oh, man. This is a threat for... Oh, my God! <laughs> So, uh, Paul just got destroyed by that. Good job, Gaxo. You're more of a threat for your own people than for the enemies. <laughs> oh, man. Silly me. Okay. Yeah, so that order doesn't work at all. Got it. Um, let's put Zippy up there, and uh, Paul doesn't get any uh, meds. Just uh, some some bandages, and that's that. Um, getting away Zippy from this because Zippy is fighting a hatchet man. Whoa! All right, there we go. I mean, it's not that bad, but uh, so Dweeb doesn't have any guns anymore. I see. But uh, these guys do very very weird things. Well, it, it works somehow. Those grenades are a threat for us and for the enemies, but at the, I, I, I like to think that my enemies are suffering more than I do. So, I mean, seriously, they are. So, I'm not regretting my uh, choice of uh, weapons here. So yeah, they are fleeing. Good. And don't come back! And Gexo, please stop fleeing those grenades. You're, uh, you're a liability for us. Okay, so that's that. Dunlap, are you worth getting saved? Your tibia is shattered, whatever that is, I don't even know. Um, Lizalit, a medic, dead in four hours and lost the left arm, so no. Actually, don't think that I want to save anybody of those guys. So that's um, I don't know why, but uh, Zane had the urge to eat his meal on a dead man. So everybody just as he wants, right? Okay, but the good news here, oh Trev, what's up with Trev? Is Trev worth it? Fast walker, nervous, death in one hour, left leg and okay, never mind. Alrighty. So let's uh, make sure that everybody who needs a treatment is getting a treatment. So Zippy is running around and tending to gag. So how is Zippy's own well-being? Well, not too bad, actually. So, who does need a treatment as well? So, Zane, you're quite right. And uh, Maria, Zane is incapable of that. Okay. 
and Django was drafted all day. Okay. Whatever. I want to see that everybody gets some um, treatment right away. So Gaxo is out of risk, so I want to make sure that Zippy is going to get a treatment now next. All right. So Gaxo, you are able to. Django, consuming a simple meal? Yeah, that's okay for me. But I'm sorry to tell you, Django, you are not done yet. You are going to, te to treat Paul as well. And uh, who's starving? Gaxo is starving, oh my god. So by, by all means, have some food, Gaxo. Alright, there we go. So Zippy needs some treatment too. And then... Zippy is the last person bleeding. Good! We survived another raid. As surprised as I might be about that. Just want to make sure that I'm going to haul away those components because they are one of the most valuable items in here. All right, good start for today's episode. That is, I keep being surprised about uh, how um, hard my people here are to kill. Like. They are lasting such a enormously long time by now. I'm really uh, proud of them, to say the least. All right. Holding the dead bodies together where they can rot in peace. Okay, I want to make sure that we're hauling the uh, shells right away and some other things that are just very, very uh, valuable to have. There we go. You know, the food, the guns, stuff like that. A lever action rifle might be not the best weapon, but it is a weapon after all, you know. So, okay, well, apart from my uh, major mistake with the, um, with the grenades at the beginning, I think using the frag grenades did um, provide me a lot of uh, advantage in this situation. Although it was very, very unfortunate that I blasted my own people several times, but well, I guess that's uh, part of the job. Hospitality for nobles. <laughs> Riddance. All right. Yeah, the coyote can uh, nibble on the leftovers of that siege. I don't mind. And yeah. Gonna haul the rest of that steel today. Very important for me too. There we go. And now, last but not least, haul away the firearms, and then I'm done with this uh, job here. And Paul went for a food trip. That's okay, though. Now I got everything out of that fight, except for the flashbangs or uh, smoke grenades. But I don't need smoke grenades. I think I got a smoke launcher. Or No, I don't. Actually, I do need the smoke grenades pretty much. Okay. Awesome. So with the uh, smoke grenades, I'm going to be able to deal with those mechanoids, actually. 
As a matter of fact, I have all the things I need to win this. Seriously. I can lure the uh, mechanoids around the corner and smack them with my EMP. And uh, the turrets I can take out with my smoke screens. Wow, we're actually able to deal with those guys. I even got some mortar shells to do the job. I'm, I'm baffled. Nice. So, first things first though, mortar shells don't um, belong in the same storage as everything else. You know, you don't do that. Just don't do that. Never. <laughs> don't store your mortar shells right next to your other things. It's, uh, it's a big and risky liability. Hey, Empress! Giving me a new infestation right before I'm able before I'm done with the with the other fight. Okay, first things um, first. We're going to reinstall as many of those uh, turrets right away, because um, having turrets fighting with me during an infestation is super strong. And I got all the turrets, so let's. Uh, Send my friends and reinstall the turrets where they're going to be used. So there we go. Let's just uh, right away comes a meteor shower and uh, oh boy. So I'm gonna get dweeb to that carbine and. Uh, well, what can I say? We gotta be uh, running for now. I just hope these beasties are going to get attracted by the turrets. And, uh, well... Good lord. So, uh, well... That didn't work out as intended. Never mind, friends. We gotta flee inside here and uh, do the best we can. Alright, that's... Uh... Okay, maybe I can install it there. Maybe that's an alternative. So there we go. So let's just run. I mean, we're very, very um, deep in trouble here anyways. So, um... Oh, God bless the exploding uh, turret here. That really uh, did a lot for us. And, uh, okay. Let's just keep running. Um... My other friends are done with that, and somehow the uh, mechanoids woke up. And I'm pretty sure if I just hide inside here, the mechanoids and the uh, insectoids will just uh, destroy each other. Okay, so next step, I'm going to stabilize Maria here, because I don't want to see her dying. And uh, why are those mechanoids attacking me now? Somebody care to explain? Well, I don't know why. But... I certainly don't think I need to know, because I got all I need. Okay, so Paul, Zane, and uh, the others should be able to deal with that. Ah, the meteorite shower triggered them. That's what happened. Nifty. So the Empress actually activated those mechanoids on me with a little workaround. I gotta say, well played, Empress, well played. Okay, so, um, next up, we gotta be waiting for them to engage on us. So, don't, um, get silly here. And just, uh, let... I'm going to wait until the mechanoids are going around a corner or something where I just, uh, get able to smack them right away. There's uh, so much firepower on them uh, right now. Gotta be careful with that. So that's looking good. Yeah, they're coming. So Zane can take the shot here right away. And I think... Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, that didn't work out as intended. Yet still, I think uh, we might be able to 
use this to my advantage. Okay, so fall back here. Oh boy. Go away, go away, go away. Um Ah, they're attacking the hives now. Awesome. So um Maria is going to die in a few hours, I see. So the rest of the mechanoids is attacking the hives. Django is chilling. All right. So my first and foremost priority are um, the um, lancers always. But now let's just hope Zane is going to be able to stun something here. And uh, there's. Paul died. No, not Paul. He was one of my uh, longest lasting people. Feeling so sorry for him. But now he lost the other lung too. Can't last without uh, lungs at all. But yeah, that's that. I mean, I solved many problems at once. I'm not ungrateful, but at the same time, it's a pretty uh, nasty situation to say the least. Okay, so Zane um, is not able to do medicals. Okay. Dweeb, also not able to. So, um, Zippy is most likely going to die if she's not going to treat herself here. So first off, stabilize Maria before she dies. I don't have any medicine, don't I? No, nothing at all. <laughs> Pity. Oh, Paul, feeling so bad for him. Was one of my favorite colonists of this run, you know? Always feels bad to lose one, some of your favorite people. Ah, you know what? Rescue her first and uh, tend her in the bed. I think the tending, qu uh, the tending speed is a lot quicker there. And apart from that, Zippy, treat yourself first. Before you're having any mental breakdowns, treat yourself first. Because if you happen to have any mental breakdowns, everybody who's wounded now will die. Thanks. Okay, but apart from that, the mechanoids are gone. There's only uh, two turrets now left, which I need to deal with, but with those smoke grenades, it's going to be no problem. So the only thing I'm really, really uh, unhappy about is the death of Paul, but I guess you can't expect to fight so many combats. I mean, we destroyed today the mechanoids, an a infestation, and a, um, and a siege. I mean, that's that's really a lot for one day. And Maria got some infection, oh dang. Um, so yeah, if I have any medicine. I don't know if I still have any medicine, but no, I don't think so. But at least it's uh, only the left big toe. So if anything goes terribly wrong with her um, immunity here, I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, Dweeb. Got it. So dying here, dang. So if anything goes too wrong, I'm just going to cut off that toe. And uh, that's that. So... Let's uh, see who was oh, Zippy is the person with the shotgun. Okay, so Zane uh, take that shotgun and uh, Gaxo is hiding in room. Don't worry, we got this. So next step, just want to make sure that I'm getting rid of these hives before they are getting nasty here. So, how am I going to bury Paul? Don't have any stones in a larger amount. Sarcophagus needs 60. Well, it's going to get an Emperor Dark Sarcophagus. And, uh, well, what was this room again? He was sleeping there. So. Zippy is going to destroy Incendiary Shell. 
really zippy. Do you think that's necessary? Sadly, Gaxo is also uh, nuts. Dweep can walk. So it's really only Django um, available for that job. So, well, good job, Zippy. Serves you right. Serves you right. Honestly, I think that's uh, something I don't like about this game in general. Because uh, tantrum or not, I personally think it's so stupid that people actually do this. Honestly, um, why should they? I, I personally find that so unrealistic. Like, ha, th these people know how these weapons work. It's not, not like they don't know how these things work. And uh, I mean, the best example for me keeps being the uh, good old anti-grain warhead where I feel like, why are people seriously um, that dumb to tantrum that down? Same goes for those shells. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I mean, um, they're angry. Yeah, sure. Ah, it's finally happening. Um, they're angry, sure. That's something I get, but I don't get why they uh, focus their anger in something which, which actually kills them. I, there's a difference between a mental breakdown and uh, being completely crazy. That's just me. My five cents about that. Just uh, when I I was watching the um, RimWorld um, groups and subreddits a while ago, and uh, was uh, catching some of those topics as well. So wow, those turrets they're not they're not OP at all. They're just uh, they're just fine. Fine balanced, finely tuned to destroy, to destroy mortal beings. Okay, we got that. Mm, people are nuts everywhere, but my storage is big, and there's one cluster uh, being downed. Now the other cl cluster needs to get downed too, but we're going to manage sooner or later too. So three turrets take down a complete. Uh, caravan of these people that's just that I still feel like uh, this needs to be patched I still feel like that's a range which is just not unfair or at least patch those sm why, why should these small turrets why should these turrets all have the same range that's something I really don't like about this at all but well, that's okay we're going to deal with that later as soon as uh, the mental breakdowns are over, that is. So how's Maria's uh, infection? <laughs> Just like I thought, nobody's treating it. So um, who's my best doctor right now? Zippy, eh? Okay. Let's just hope Zippy is going to do good work. Oh, 15%? It's not really good work. So, yeah, gotta amputate that. So, I can't do that because I don't have medicine. That sucks. And I honestly feel like it's complete nonsense because I'm only taking off a toe complete leg a toe yeah she's dead died from a infection on a big toe because I'm unable to do anything about that sadly I mean I can only check out if there's something on the crafting spots but wow that really annoys me a bit gotta be quite honest um, I mean it's a toe we can hack it off and uh, sew her up again that's so sad so sad to lose somebody due to that, but it's going to happen. She's uh, not going to make it. Yeah, of course. Or are these guys having some medicine there? No, didn't get that lucky. That would have been the solution if anybody of those dropped a pack of uh, herbal medicine, but also not happening. Okay, rip Maria. 
two of my original uh, of my original setup are dying today. That's really sad. I had such a stupid way of dying, honestly. I'm not okay with this. I'm really not okay with this, but I, I guess I gotta accept it because we weren't able to take off the toe. That's why. Well, well. I mean, I knew these guys would die um, someday, but I'm quite baffled uh, about the uh, stupidity of the of how they die. <laughs> Gotta admit, I mean, that's really stupid, and a very very uncomfortable way of dying. I really don't agree with the game that amputations always need a uh, stockpile of um, medicine to happen because it doesn't make sense. You can try to amputate somebody without anesthetics. Most likely he's going to die, but come on, give us a shot. Just my, facts, my, my thoughts about that. Anyways... Then I hope Zane is uh, going to get back to his senses one day. So I'm able to build that sarcophagus, or those two sarcophagi, before they start to spoil. Man, that annoys me. Seriously, that the, that would pile that's something I can deal with, but Maria's death just feels uh, outright stupid. Can I can't put it into different words and it bugs me a bit. Because I can accept deaths uh, that are just uh, happening, but uh, things like these I always have a hard time accepting because it just, uh, like I said, it feels so wrong. But whatever. That's just what it is. There we go. And let's finish those sarcophagi so we can bury those guys finally. And we went on an insulting spree because he was imprisoned. Get over it, boy. We got worse problems than that. Okay, but at least I'm going to be able to get rid of that uh, cluster. That's something. And I got some nice uh, sarcophagi to uh, to chill uh, to chill on. You know, always look on the bright side. There we go. But overall, I'm quite um, I'm proud of Empress. She played it. She played her cards really, really well during this episode. Um, meteorite showering the um, the mechanoid cluster. Smart move to get them finally rolling against me. I'm proud. <laughs> I'm certainly proud of her. So I'm um, not going to tackle down the um, cluster today because I'm going to need a little bit longer for that. And uh... hey, coyote! Why are we having a coyote in the storage? Can somebody please take that stupid thing down? Come on. Yeah, you go outside, you. Now, no need to attack the door. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> They're actually unable to leave through the door before it's uh, um, left on hold open. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. We have really, really weird things happening today, to say the least. But I'm quite happy that the uh, mechanoid cluster is gone now. That's a good start. That's a really, really good start. Because that means I only need to uh, grab up my smoke um, grenades. Is Dweeb still insulting people? Come on, get alive, Dweeb. So, minus 33, minus 10, minus 14, minus 10. Really, um... And this guy is not done yet. Like, I don't get it why um, the uh, insulting spray breakdown lasts that long. Like, I'm even <laughs> arresting him now because I thought, like, oh, well, let's have him his way one time. But, so, uh, I mean, let's check his bio before I arrest him. Let's check the bio or the social tab. No. 
I need to log. So um he he went he's 17 hours now on insulting spray. I don't feel like that's okay. Seriously, that breakdown needs to be toned down a bit. Because uh it's also the only breakdown I always uh, shut off when it's happening, except for a few others. And uh, Insulting Spree is ranging on the same heaviness like uh, Murderous Rage for me. Because, um, yeah, you see, there's no way that Dweeb and Django are uh, living through the next days without um, breaking down. I don't get it why there's uh, no, no cap for these insults. I mean, sure, I'm whining a little bit here today because I'm annoyed to <laughs> have lost so many people, but that's not the point here. The point here is why are insulting sprees so strong? That's uh, something I, I keep asking myself for a long, long time. Why do they, why are they so strong? Leave me a comment down below if you also think like uh, insulting sprees are too strong. I'd be very, very curious about that. I personally think that breakdown is bonkers and way too strong. But you already heard my um, my argument about that. So next episode, we're going to um, finish off the rest of that cluster because with those uh, smoke grenades, it's going to be easy. And thanks for watching. I'm still surprised we didn't die today. Well, okay, two of us died today, so we're on a good way here. And uh, feel free to leave a like on the video if you want to support the visibility of that series. Your help goes a long way. And apart from that, of course, leave a subscription on the channel if you want to even turn on the notifications, be my guest, or check out my Discord server in the description below. There you'll find my release schedule for all the videos I do. Whatever you do or don't, have a great time. Thanks for watching again, and uh, maybe they'll die next episode. Who knows? Bye-bye.